right what is up you guys and of course always welcome back to another OU battle which is truly that is Karen. I guess you could reach for you um, I have now of course a BHM week and I'm going up his day which is a Twitter follower and a YouTube follower and he's been very, very charismatic and friendly so looking forward to battle him you know you're always worried that when you battle new people that there is a small risk that um, they could bring it all as they really want to you know showcase what they can do and um, so, so I'm worried <laughs> even though you know I just want to have a great game and fun game so it doesn't necessarily matter but yeah oh yeah this this looks tough um, this is automatically an Uber's team though with both their Manitan and Drakovich a lot of keeping in mind here Though, I have two things going my way that could be benefiting. Um, first and foremost, Mirage might fly on his scarf, and that could be helpful. And uh, hopefully Arcaean can, you know, burst something wide open. We're gonna start it off with this. I think that's like the easiest play I got. Um, I think, or actually, you know, no, yeah. I was thinking that was um, Focus Sash, the course a lot, but no, I am designed to survive this is oof, this is tough this is a good team too like if this was a start of um generations this would be incredible uh really like the synergy even though of course luxury was necessarily not available then but oh, both drakovich and galerian darmanitan are forced to be reckoned with and uh, we're gonna behave as such now i did promise him i upload this game no matter what so um if he utterly destroys me I'm still gonna upload it, of course. I mean, it's not its not about uploading wins, it's about uploading as, you know, as much fun as possible. Lads is the lead. Um, in theory, we got actually a good lead for us, but I'm just gonna U-turn anyway. Does decide to stay in, because the thing is, both liquidation, um, like everything works well here. It's quite intimidating seeing that ahead of you, or in front of you. Um, can I send in Sarud? I think I can. I hope so. I think Head Smash is gonna be uh, great. Oh, Ice Fang, that's that's nasty. That did absolutely half. Wow. Yeah, good on him. Good on him. So I should be able to force him out. Thing is, what comes in here? I could bulk up, just to gauge it, really. See what he wants to do. Hmm, mm, 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 mm. That was a good prediction. Or, I mean, the ice thing makes sense versus fly on. It's just that hurt so much. Let's see, he sends out fire. <sighs> this would have been nice if um, somehow, somewhere, this wasn't scarfed. Right? <laughs> the thing is, I have nothing to switch in on this either. So... Yeah, we're taking this gamble. It's not scarfed, great, awesome. And that's a dead Dermanitan. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. Right, cool. Um, I mean, if that were Scarfed, I'm, Darmanitan just eats teams and um, <laughs> Oxmail. Alright, it's Intimidate, actually. I think we can, um, can risk a bulk up. And I want to see what he wants to do. Superpower. That's fair. Oof. He becomes minus one, though. It is just whether or not I can recover enough, as the jungle healing is, um, to, to put mildly, not that reliable. The main merit of that move is that um, you can avoid uh, getting status, but he doesn't have a defensive 
responses for this. Um, like if it brings off like Covenite or Toxapex, then this type of Sarud is phenomenal. But versus what I'm dealing with here, um, I'm just lucky if I, I can gauge that properly. I do want to lead or try to um, see. Oh, look. Look, it changed the background. First time I've seen this move in, uh, I was going to say real life. But yeah, that's that's plenty. Um, Ice Fang, now with minus one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, I kind of want to. Um, I want my opponent to kind of get in again, so. Yeah, he would draw us good. Um, to Mac Macro. Yeah, he's absolutely forcing me to. Um, let's think about this. What can Rakovic do to Sarud? I'm still out speed. I'm better off going for Throat Shop here, I think. Powerwork could absolutely destroy him. Ah, I wanna, I wanna be that guy though. Oh, it's Scarf though. Oof. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. All right. I still gotta do it. I still gotta do it. Ah, oh, we couldn't take another one. That's fair, though. That's fair. I think my opponent actually... I think the game needed that to happen. <laughs> so he's locked into that, which is great, as this does allow us to bring in the Vitus. And pretty much force him out, actually. Um, let's see, what are his switch-ins? Everything hurts that I'll do. And Stealth Frog doesn't necessarily make sense. So Shadow Ball is the EC kind of force out play um, let's see sends in the lads and the unfortunate part here is that I don't know what I can do to Dreadnought besides a lot of damage potentially um, I think Crunch kind of puts us on the spot and I can only hope it goes for that or anything else so my Culver like picks off I think Strength Sap is not only kind of risky, but kind of worthless. And there is, like I said, no reason to setting up Stealth Rocks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I was kind of aiming for Sarud Sweep, but that didn't work out as I wanted to. Right? Jaw Lock. I hope I'm able to stomach this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perish Body, baby. But your time is well overdue already. And this is the first time you guys see Corsola do something. And that's probably how it's going to end. So now I am the only one with the Parish army. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know whether or not it resets or if it is in every switch in and out. Kego, alright. This could be a coal mine variant, though, right? With mystical fire and whatnot. Yeah, I don't think I want to risk too much with that. I'm actually going to bring in Archean and um, just really, really get the blows with those psychics. Let's see. Coal mines, yeah. I think that's fair. Draining his mystical fire. You know, this is a beast in his own right. Real unfortunate I wasn't shot shock now. But there is no risk of me nah, I think I'm fine. Psyche is my best stab, but we'll see what he decides to do. Mystical fire, it's gonna give him minus one in special attack. Which is alright, I think. And a little boost psychic will do. Not as much as I wanted. Not as much as I wanted. But I only get that analytic boost, so... 
he has to decide on his own whether or not he want to keep attacking or recover or call mining. Decides to call mind, which means we'll do around the same amount of damage at least this time. <laughs> so right now he has to recover. This is pressuring him for sure. I like this. It's very hard to stall break a BHM that is still attacking. I'm at minus one and I still put him kind of in range. That would be nice with another special defense drop. It would be even nicer with a side shock. I don't know why I optimized for the other. Right there's recover. I think it's fair. And uh, pretty much I have to make up my mind how I want to uh, battle this. But he either recovers back or he has to make like the play. Um, oh, mystical fire is kind of kind of rough. Gonna keep on going at it. He decides to call mind. Kind of risky. Kind of risky. But just kind of. I just bait him for that crit to kind of kick in. So right, now it's going to recover, and I think my best play is actually doing this. Hmm, I'm, I'm really thinking how to, uh, how to pressure this without absolutely losing to this. I think I could take a stab move from this guy. Because my idea is focus energy, then snipe shot, then bring in. Uh, I kind of hope it goes for call mine. If I'm being very honest, if it attacks me, that's gonna just suck. Right? Because that's better, depending on what it does. <sighs> Plenty. <laughs> Plenty. Right. Here we go. At least do something, right? Intellion, I trust you. Yeah, 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 it's alright. I don't think I got too greedy, I think. And his crit, of course, never didn't necessarily matter. So now it's all about my earthquake, really. Oh, he's around half, though, that's kind of rough. Because Durandal dies too, the obvious. Mystical Fire beats me. Yeah, I think that's what I would play. Kinda, kinda regretting going or screwing over my Saru right now. There were no reason to, maybe. Let's see. I feel like I'm slowly dying. A painful death. He is thinking though. The thing I don't know how bulky an old cream is, but I really, really struggle versus this usually. He's just one of those mods that oh he withdraws. He withdraws. Okay. To Dracovish. Did not expect that actually. Did not expect that. So I mean I don't want to sack play any of these. But I don't think I have a proper response. If he goes for um, a vicious rend then you know I'm forced to go for an outrage basically. There it is. <laughs> like there it is. Parish body baby. So I'll think, since we know he's scarfed, that... Um, oh, 
I so badly don't want to do this, but I kind of have to. Like, basically, the monsters are left. Flygon can, in theory, beat all of them. So I don't want to lock myself in a bad move. So I think a U-turn here. He decides to stay and so that's super unfortunate. But it does mean that my... Actually, it doesn't mean necessarily anything. Um, with the monster left. Arcane struggle versus a few of them. So this is what we do. Uh, like I said, really regretting that I kind of um, wasted my um, <laughs> my Saru right now. That would have been able to pressure this. And I kind of got caught up in the moment because I got so much momentum early. And now I am on death's door and knocking. We'll see what he decides to do. I really hope he sacks this. But at the same time... Like... Yeah, nice. Um, if all Creamy comes in, I need to attack it. If Reuniclus comes in, I'm switching out. Or what could Ryu Nicholas do versus me anyway? Psychic, I guess. Luxray is beaten by this set. Stump B. So let's see. There is nothing Ryu Nicholas can do versus this. So I'm sending a Durandal and uh, I think my easy play is going for a knockoff. Let's see, Nightshade, alright. That's actually kind of good. That's that's worrying, I'll say that. Right, for besides withdrawals, I think that's actually fair. Two Kigo, that Luxray. No, that's that guy. Thing is, recover or a mystical fire. I don't think I can take the risk. That's the thing. I want him to mystical fire. If it's raining kiss, then you know this is the next level game. Mystical fire, nice. We get that kind of right, and we can lock ourselves into earthquake and uh, get the KO here. I just don't know what to do against Reuniclus. Nightshade is absolutely kind of up there. However, I do want to optimize my Flygon and be able to go for... Um, what do you call it? Um, I want to be able to go for Outrage versus the... Versus that one. Alright, brings in Octomail. The question is whether or not it's bulky enough to withstand an earthquake in, in with me in minus one. We know it has Ice Fang for sure. So we're doing this play. Ice Fang, yeah, that's fair. Freeman is left. Don't get me frozen. And I think he will follow it up with a Fire Fang. So we bring in Mirage again. And just try to outlast him. If he goes for another Ice Fang, then you're wow, that's. that's oh, yes! <laughs> Ooh, he's getting close. He's getting way closer than I thought it would ever be. My opponent is really pushing it. And this is basically, depending on what that Reuniclus is, it's all about that right now. We saw a Nightshade, that's... That's what I'm mostly worried about. 
I guess I can lock myself into Earthquake just to see what it does as the game is closing in and quite frankly I had a blast having this game so no matter how the outcome is it, it's really whatever it my opponent really made a phenomenal comeback and for me that's all that matters yeah around half I'm very interested to see what set this Runiclass really is I guess I don't get the chance to experience that but I still like the idea Reuniclus with Assault Vest and Knight. Oh, that was a crit or what? Just a very weird mid max. There is Psychic. I think that could KO. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's coming down to the last month. Like it should. And since I have Assault Vest, I think I'm safe. Let's find out. I'm not in nightshade range and yeah there we go nice this is GG um, today very very much GG I think you've played this game phenomenal while the power whip miss on my side was allowing this game to prolong at the same time it did allow this game to get all that much better I got an early momentum and um, you were able to um, push me back even with that so it speaks more to your skill level so very much GG man Really looking forward to battle you soon again, and uh, for everyone watching, hope you enjoyed this team, and um, well, not the strongest showcase of um, BHM. I still think it did, it required a few plays to get this thing right, and Old Creamy was an absolute threat, and I think BHM forced it to really stumble before it got going. So, with that said, as all guys, thank you for watching, and well, have a great day everyone, take care, bye.